Yeah, so we look about 10 right now. But anyways, hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I haven't vlogged in quite a while and I kind of missed it. Just being real, that is my thing. So today is a vlog day, it's Friday. The weather says it's supposed to be sunny, so I was like, that is the perfect day to vlog. I literally just woke up. It's probably about, it's about eight o'clock and I was kind of a bit of a lion. Normally I get up a bit earlier than this, but it's only me, Emily and Matthew in the house today. Like mum or dad aren't here. So when that happens, we kind of sleep in a bit and we're like, yeah, they're not gonna come and wake us up today because they're not in the house. Good morning, sleepy head. <laughs> Good morning, cacti. Let's see if Matthew's awake. Are you gonna get up? Nobody's getting up in this place. So, it's summer and I'm in a jumper and tracksuit bottoms. Summer. So, my hair's still my cheese, I'm just gonna do it now. Kinda look like goo from Monsters Inc. If you've followed me on my like, Snapchat and Instagram, you'll know that I've been obsessed with space buns recently. I've been doing them pretty much every day at the moment. Well, that's two days, but that's every day so far, so whatever. But I think I'm gonna try French party in my hair this morning whilst I wait for everyone else to like wake up. Yeah, this video is also going to be me showing you the ways that I am trying to reduce my environmental footprint on this planet and be more ethical and sustainable and environmentally friendly in everything I do, not just the foods I put in my body. Obviously that is a, that has a big impact in itself, just eating plant-based has a huge, huge environmental impact and it's extremely beneficial to eat that way for this planet. But I'm also trying to do other things as well recently. So I, this video is kind of dedicated towards that. But it's a vlog as well. First things first. So every day, mostly, I have been starting my day with oil pulling. And if you don't know what oil pulling is, it's basically getting some oil. This is coconut oil. And you just swirl it in your mouth for about 20 minutes. It has so many benefits. One of which is natural teeth whitening. I don't know whether it's been scientifically proven. I'm not going to say that it has been and give you wrong information but I'm just reaping some benefits from it at the moment like it helps with oral hygiene I hope it might help whiten my teeth naturally because I don't want to use any chemicals or some drug thing I want it to be natural and this is just coconut oil so basically I'm going to be doing that whilst I do my hair I get a small bit like this I just put it in my mouth and then I'll swirl it around so I won't be able to talk for about 20 minutes I did it for about 20 minutes while I was doing my hair. Um, as you saw, yeah, I just went to spell it outside because instead of spitting in a bin, you can just spit it outside and it's natural, so perfectly fine. Oh, hey, Burley, good morning. Oh. We're just on a dog walk now. Start is somewhere and we've come to pick blackberries today because every day we normally take a blackberry stop in the mornings to get some blackberries. Um, but today we actually bought a bag and a bowl to get a ton of blackberries to stock up because they're so early this year It's August, right? Yeah, it's August and they normally come around September So clearly the seasons are all messed up. So we need to get the ripe fruit now Hey, Em, having fun? Oh, stuck in the plant. She got stuck in the plant. These are how many we've got so far Which is pretty good, pretty decent. It's a really big bowl. It's so heavy. Yeah, you like you'd pay so much for that. Well, we're gonna work out how much this would cost us as well. We're not. We're trying to fill it full. Come on, ready, ready. Good girl. Mmm, that was so good. Where's them? I got nature's candy. Nature's candy. Obviously, picking your own fruit that's in your local area. Food miles are literally nothing. 
It doesn't have any pesticides, herbicides on it. They're wild, but it's free. Go and get your free fruit. There are also plums, which I have at home that we picked as well. And then apples mm -hmm. come out this season as well. So, and pears. So much free fruit. Go and get some free fruit. My hay fever is going to kick in. Mm. I can feel it. Back to picking. We did it. Look at all these blackberries. Filled it right to the top. We're going to freeze them, I think, all of them, yeah? Yeah. And a good tip is if you, like, get loads of blackberries and then Just over time them. you'll have enough <laughs> to freeze them all and then they keep over winter. So then you can have blackberries all year round. You pick it. And then you put it in. Yeah, you pick it and you put it in. Come on. And a blackberry. Come on. She likes to pick the ones that she likes to eat, don't you? Oh, that looks like a good one. Yeah. Yeah. But she doesn't help out because she just eats them. What would you do if I dropped all these right now? I'd literally just never talk to you again. <laughs> never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, 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 never. Reusable carrier bags, of course. Put too many layers on, that's why um, we look like this. It's actually really it's hot. Like an umpa -umpa. Really, really hot. Holly goes to me, Emily, it's really cold this morning. So she comes home and she goes, Do you want me to close your windows? I was like, No. Yeah. And then she's like, Emily, you need to wear like a hoodie and a coat because it's like really, really cold. Look under the tree. Woo! Under the tree. Under the tree. Under the sea. No, under, under the, the sea. sea. A bit sour, but you're alright. <laughs> Go. This is you. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> well, I can't catch with my hand, so how am I supposed to catch my mouth? I don't know, dude. So we got back really, really late. <laughs> It's currently <laughs> quarter past 11. Made this really cute pink smoothie and now I'm gonna put it in here. Yeah, we like it quite thick. That's my breakfast basically. So a load of bananas, frozen berries, water, and not mango sorbet, shredded coconut. So I just wanted to say, I am using a plastic straw and this video is about being sustainable and environmentally friendly and that kind of is hypocritical of me, but we have a ton, and when I say a ton, we have so many straws, don't we, Emily? Plastic straws. When we went through that phase, like, oh, let's buy plastic straws. Let's get the cute ones from Ikea. No. We weren't really conscious and mindful of waste and how much plastic we're using. But now, I am on that. I'm really trying to cut back how much waste we have in plastic, even though the UK supermarkets are flooded with plastic. Everything comes in plastic. Just don't like it. So we're trying to use them up. I don't know if there's an, a better way of doing it. I just don't know what to do because we want to, in the end, get some like metal straws. Don't we? That are reusable. Stainless steel. Ones. Stainless steel, and that obviously don't contribute to waste. So yeah, I'm sorry this is a bit hypocritical of me, but I don't know what else to do. If anyone knows what I should do with them, that is better instead of using them. Let me know. And yeah, if you're in a rush, bananas and berries never fails. But they're like staple fruits. Mm. Or have frozen berries in the freezer. Or have frozen berries and frozen bananas. So good. The moment of truth, guys. We've got the scales and we're going to see how many we actually got. 2.254 kilos. I'm going to wash a few at a time. Whoa, they're going everywhere. Let's go. I just worked out with the weight of the bowl taken off it would have cost 24 pounds 57 for 2.061 kilos of blackberries we saved a lot of money 24 pounds i'm sure you'll be able to find blackberries in your local area go and pick some i just wanted to come outside to show you what fruit we have in our garden at home so this is one of the apple trees in our garden. This is another apple tree. There's an apple tree here as well. This tree bears some sort of fruit. These are, oh yeah, so these are the plums. Oh, 
that just came off that doesn't look right. I think they're supposed to be yellow plums, but I can't see any that are actually yellow. Green, 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 maybe they're not plums. Green, hmm. So whilst we are also on the topic of fruit, this is where our bananas are kept, if you know me. Um, so I'm gonna do some banana freezing. And I'm sorry again, they come in plastic. Oh my goodness, when I'm trying to make a video about being sustainable, everything is in plastic. But it just comes to show the amount of packaging that the UK supermarkets choose to use. I got a ton the other day for 30p. So like this banana, it's not ripe yet because it still has a very green top and you can tell that the that's gonna make a clicking noise when you open it. So I'm not gonna freeze this one. It's just a bit bruised. It's perfectly fine. Not ripe though. This one though, I found a squishy bit. And when mom comes and finds squishy bananas, she doesn't like it. So I'm gonna have to freeze it, even though it's not completely ripe. This is what happens when you buy reduced bananas. Often they're bruised and stuff, so they do get a bit squishy, but it's fine. <laughs> A plate of some salad which basically looks like a plate of spinach but we've got some celery cucumber tomatoes and a bit of the leftover apple because here i've got porridge and you can see how to make it um in my last video i posted which was a recipes video and hydration nation so um i was really 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 kindly sent this toothbrush toothbrushes that can obviously be composted when you're finished with it so you don't contribute to landfill and stuff so and basically because we're trying to be more conscious of everything we buy mm -hmm. and trying to reduce waste because that is another thing to be more sustainable is reduce waste i just so excited and it's personalized and it comes with a bamboo case so this is the bamboo case it's so cool and it has my name engraved in it see holly so and um cute. so you take it out there we go, see that, Ollie! And there's a black one, I got the black one because I've never had a black toothbrush and I was like, yeah. What's it sound at? It says zerowaste.com down the bottom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it smells nice. It oh yeah, it smells like fresh. Really fresh. Mm. Mm, it smells like nature. And my, my plastic toothbrush, which I've been using now for like the past week or whatever, is broken. Completely I need snapped. to get one of those. Yeah, mm. completely snapped in half, so I'll show you that later, but yeah. So if you want to get a toothbrush that you don't have to chuck into landfill, Try zerowaste.com. I mean, mm. this is not, not sponsored. sponsored. <laughs> oh, that's not a thing. Oh, exactly. I'll mention it now. We both have Depop accounts. We've got Depop to hopefully sell on our clothes that other people can then reuse. And then mm. I might start looking on Depop to buy things as well that are secondhand so I don't have to buy mm. something that's brand new. Well, like the secondhand, sometimes things are like new on there but people just don't want them. Yeah. Like, it's so good to have as little things as possible and just like get rid of stuff that you don't use because someone else will probably use it or yeah. use it more than you. So, But mine is um, Holly Gabrielle, I think. I'll put the username. And Emily's is... Um, Miss ELW, I think. Okay, well, so go check out Depop. Well, that's the question we need to ask. If, if anyone's in the UK and you know of good thrift stores, yeah, or like charity shops, yeah, where you get them. clothing that's because quite cheap and. <laughs> also, if anyone knows of any like affordable sports gear mm. that's sustainable, we need to also watch the True Cost documentary. Yeah, I know. We're gonna watch that at some point as well, and hopefully that will educate us further because what's the main thing you have to do, huh? Educate yourselves. Yes. <laughs> this is my new mic. <laughs> I've had it for like um two or three weeks now, and I haven't told you. Firstly, it's incredibly light. Even you, you can lift it. it. Look Even at that. Oh. Look at that arm muscle. <laughs> oh yes, it's pretty light. Giant two. Two. So it goes. The one is the best. Yeah. One is the best. Look up two. It's a small because Train. I'm. Sure. If you look on the website, they're really expensive. I got this on eBay for £241. Wasn't I so excited <laughs> when we, I won the video? What did it come with? It came with, okay, so it came with a little bell. <laughs> yeah, no, cute. Um, this is a cat eye wireless thing that tells me how far we did. So the last ride we did was 28.58k. That was our 38k ride. <laughs> 28k, not 38k. Sorry, 28k, right? Yeah. And it tells me just like loads of things like speed and all this stuff. It's so cool. Oh yeah, I also had to get a little water bottle. I 
haven't got the skills to do that while I'm riding it. So we have to take breaks. And then it has how many gears? 20 gears. I don't know what crank set it is. I'm not really It's a, a Shimano Tiagra. Shimano, yeah, it's a Shimano Tiagra. Shimano Tiagra. Shimano, 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 Shimano Tiagra. Mud guards came with it as well. See, otherwise I would have had to buy them extra. That's so good for in the UK. All for 241 pounds. Look on eBay, guys. Get them deals. <laughs> It's really tall, and obviously I wear a helmet, but yeah. I'm used to the gears kind of now. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> we just got back from our cycle. How long did we do? How long did we do? Was it like 15k? No, it was 18k, wasn't it? Yeah. Cycle, oh, yeah. you told me. 18k, 18K yeah, exactly. My fault. 18k was good. We were really powering up the hills today. Yeah. Really, really fun. We were cycling next to each other, like, come on, come on. <laughs> and our area is so hilly. Like, it's 18k. Some people might be like, that's not enough. But no, but honestly, we do live in a really, like, hilly area. So hilly. And today, I was really proud because I kept up with you on the first bit. That's, like, a really shallow but long incline. And I mm. never normally keep up with you. And then, I managed to take my water bottle out and drink it while cycling. On a flat bit, where there was, like, you know. In a safe okay, area. but I did it. Was safe, yeah. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah, it was a really good cycle. And now we're just gonna stretch out and tone out mm -hmm. and roll out. Yes. And then we're gonna have dinner. Oh yeah. Chickpea pasta yeah. and lots of vegetables. Hey, Bernie. Oh, hello. What we're gonna do now, Bobby's compost emptying time. So. Our bin situation is kind of organized, it's kind of pleasing. We have recycling in here, this is general other waste, and this is bottles, bottles that get recycling. And then we pick them out and put them in the recycling bag and we take them out so that we always keep this bin in here, this bin liner in here, so we don't like use extra bags. And this one is all our food waste. Ta da! <laughs> this we compost. Yes, we compost. Uh, right. Which is a very good idea. Yeah. Look right. at that, that is trendo. Socks and flip flop. I hope this isn't leaking. It's ripping heavy. Leaked last night. Right, here we go. That's all right. So then we walk all the way to the compost bin over there. You're right there, Ollie. This is really heavy. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Don't swing it, it'll break. Not if it comes out. Stand back. Dun dun dun. dun. And the swarm will go. Oh! The fruit flies. The fruit flies. Yeah, so many aside. Millions of them. Oh gosh. Yeah, ideally we'd have a biodegradable bag. Then we can just have the whole thing here rather than this whole yeah, like. This whole... But no. And time. But do not have any avocado today. Okay. So we made a massive stir fry and basically homemade it. So what's it got in it? So some cabbage, kale, little bits of broccoli, yes. carrot, bean sprouts, and courgette. Oh yes, and some fresh basil, see, all green. And now we're gonna add some spices. Turmeric, go ahead and whack on a load of that turmeric. Oh yes, I love turmeric. Cumin. And finally we're gonna add a bit of paprika. Oh yeah, it's got a bit of water in there because obviously we fry with water. And then we're having chickpea pasta, which is like so amazing, I love it so much. And also we've got in the oven, uh, not the pizza, that's not, no. You see in there, the top shelf, we got some butternut squash roasting away with water, oil free, of course. Woo, we're boiling, we're boiling, dude, we're boiling, oh my god.
gifts, my friends. Look at that. Yes, chickpea pasta, stir fry, and butternut squash. And there's more butternut squash waiting up for us in the oven. Look at this cute little girl. And this one kind of too. I had to use this for so long. Bye bye. My beautiful new toothbrush. And yeah, I will link the Zero Waste website down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm showing you why you today and what I do today. And also get some tips and advice on how to try and be more sustainable because I'm trying to do it as well. And it's a work in progress. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye, my friends.